15, this is an intuition question. So profits versus cash flows, you know, what should we consider when we're uh, using them in an NPV calculation? So let's just go through these answers and talk through them. Profits are on average larger than cash flows and so will lead to inflated valuations. Well, that's not really true. I mean, you know, depending on how much you need to put into working capital or how many capital expenditures you have, your profits could be different than your cash flows. So like, there's no real correlation here. We, we never even talked about a trend in profits and cash flows in class. Cash flows are used in, evalu in valuation because asset prices are affected by the dates cash is expected to be paid and received. That seems true, right? Um, so if you think about this, that is basically the definition of an NPV. Um, the asset price, that is the net present value of all of the productive stuff that the asset is going to do, is based on the cash flows. So that is a very healthy contender for this uh, question, and obviously it's the right answer, but let's continue reading. Um, cash flows are used when there's enough data or enough history to extrapolate from past data. Otherwise, it's better to use forecast profits. I mean, we're forecasting all of this anyway, so like past data, I mean, you're forecasting cash flows and profits. That's clearly not right. D, profits have no consequence for valuation because investors know that profits are only a sh short-term snapshot of performance. Um, but we're taking all of the profits across all time, so I'm not sure why that would be an answer. Yes, they are a short-term sna snapshot in the sense that they're just one year. But if we have all of the years of profits, then that's how we're going to value the company. Well, cash flows in that sense. Um, but that, that's clearly not the answer. So cash flows should be used when available and only ignored when there is uncertainty over the estimates. Mm, I mean, in our estimates in the future, we are going to use profits and cash flows. And in theory, they're always going to be available because we will have some set of assumptions about what's going to happen. So in this case, the only answer that really makes sense is B. The rest of them are kind of like um, weird discussions about like things that are true but not and like only short term the only thing that makes sense is b cash flows are used in valuation because asset prices are affected by the dates cash is expected to be uh, paid and received that's exactly the definition of an npv you add up the cash flows you discount them back and so therefore b is the answer